Bull sharks have been found in fresh water all around the world. We had some in Guatemala, Venezuela, Indonesia. They even found a bull shark in a lake at a golf course in Australia. But why were the sharks that bit Cameron and Jean swimming so far from the ocean? And why did they bite people swimming in the river? To help untangle this mystery, Dr. Stephen Kajira joins me in the 360 lab to find out if bull sharks behave differently in fresh river water compared to salty ocean water. So we're currently surrounded by bull sharks. What can you tell me? Uh, bull sharks are great. They're uh, what you typically think of when you think of a shark, except on steroids. <laughs> they're, they're huge, they're, they're powerful, they're strong, they're girthy, and they can eat pretty much whatever they want. So how do they hunt? Well, one of the things they're able to do is use their electrosensory system. So if you take a look at a bull shark, you can see all these little pores scattered over the surface of the head. Each one of those is an electroreceptor, and they're able to use this, even in completely murky water, to detect the electric fields of potential prey items. And so does it work differently in rivers? Well, there it's different. This system is optimized to function in the ocean, right. and salt water is a great conductor. But in fresh water, it's more of an insulator. So as a result, this electrosensory system is it's dampened in fresh water. It'd be like swimming in really murky water where you can't really see, as opposed to swimming in the ocean where it'd be really clear. So because that electrosensory system is dampened, do they cope in other ways? Well, probably what they're able to do is rely on other senses, like maybe vision or maybe their olfactory system to enable them to detect prey since they can't rely on their electroreceptors.